everybody, Jim here, coming to you again from my apartment here in Tokyo, drinking a little beer tonight, uh, switching things up a little bit. Usually I'm having Asahi Super Dry, which is uh, my favorite, uh, but tonight I'm having Sapporo Black Label, which is also very good. Uh, this is... Um, one of the one of the better beers, I guess, that you can buy uh, in a convenience store. I um, was at a little Christmas get together the other night and uh, picked up an assortment of beers on the way over there, and uh, one of them was Black Label, and uh, I was enjoying it. So I thought, uh, yeah, have some more of that. Variety is nice, right? You don't always have to drink Asahi Jim. You can drink other beers. There are other beers in the world. Uh, but yeah, Sapporo Black Label, enjoying it. Anyway, uh, let me wet the whistle real quick. Okay. I uh, wanted to have a chat tonight. Do one of my conversational style videos. Um, and uh, gauge everybody's feelings on the, the subject of the MCNs on YouTube. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, MCN stands for Multi-Channel Network. And uh, the reason I wanted to uh, get everybody's opinions on these things, if you have one, you may or may not care, um, is because uh, this year uh, a number of um, networks had reached out to me. And uh, for most of them, I, I didn't really you know, care or bother to look into things because they were all, like, networks like I had never heard of before. And uh, my understanding of networks has been pretty limited because um, up until, again, this year, I had never been invited to be a part of one. I didn't really know how they operated. Um, so I had been um, offered... Uh, to join several uh, MCNs and um, just said no to all of them because I just, you know, wasn't interested. Um, but the most recent one uh, to extend that offer to me actually prompted me to do some investigation into like what it even means to be a part of one of these networks and to, to try to gauge like public opinion of it um, because I was offered to join Screenwave Media uh, earlier this year. I think it was last month actually. I think it was last month, either that or the, the month prior, uh, I got an email from a representative at ScreenWave uh, inviting me to join them. And um, it was pretty detailed. They knew a lot about my channel and my videos. They'd obviously been doing some research. Uh, they knew, like, the people that were in my recommended channels list. They made reference to that. Um, so the person I was talking to uh, obviously knew a bit about me. Um, uh, did some, yeah, obviously did some research before contacting me. And um, they were the first one to contact me that I had I'd heard of because I knew that Screenwave is a really big MCN. They represent like a lot of people like um, uh, Cinemassacre and I think like uh, Pat the NES Punk and uh, uh, the Game Chasers and a bunch of... Um, bunch of bigger channels like that so they were the first people to contact me that I had actually heard of them and and uh, knew about them um, so before I responded to the um, the person who contacted me uh, I wanted to you know look it up and and see you know uh, what what it is like what's public opinion and and what can they they offer you and things like that because I know that they're a representative of the company. So if I ask them things about that, I'm pretty much only going to get like positive uh, information coming back to me because they're going to want me to join. Because I knew at the very least that um, for being a part of the network, they take a little bit of your money. Uh, so I was uh, going to do a little a little digging first. Uh, so I, I looked up uh, YouTube. I just went and searched Screenwave Media on YouTube. And like... Everything that came up was negative, but not not coming from the people like it wasn't anything from the people who are actually a part of Screenwave. So there wasn't a video of like I don't know anyone who's a part of that network being like, yeah, it sucks. I wish I wasn't a part of this network. It was mostly coming from people who were like, 
looking at this from the outside, like looking at what's happened to this channel or that channel, that, you know, it sucks and ScreenWave sucks and they ruin channels and they, everything like that. But um, it seemed like public opinion uh, was not very high. Uh, so there was that. There was that little bit of, of feedback I went and looked up. But then I know a bunch of people who are uh, partnered with ScreenWave. So I was like, you know what? Instead of just, you know, taking the opinions of um, sort of like outside observers like myself, you know, like I'm, you know, fairly ignorant to about, you know, what goes on there. So I'm assuming that other people might be similarly ignorant, but that doesn't stop some people from having opinions on things anyway. Um, so I was like, you know what, let me go to some of uh, the people I know who are partnered with ScreenWave, and I'll ask them. So I asked a couple of uh, people I know, uh, sent them some messages, and said, hey, you know, I've been uh, offered to join uh, ScreenWave. So what do, you, what do you think about that? Uh, what can you tell me about your experiences with them? And um, uh, two people in particular uh, I got responses back from. They were very different responses. So one person comes back with, um, yeah, you know, uh, I, I don't ever really talk to anyone from ScreenWave. Uh, I've never really needed to, and uh, I don't really see how it really has affected my channel very much. Um, if you don't really uh, need them, then, uh, you know, I would uh, recommend not joining up with them. It's not really worth it uh, at the end of the day because they take a bit of your ad revenue. And uh, so that was that was one response I got, and I'm going to take a break from running my yap to uh to have another swig off this so uh stand by people so that was one response i got um it was very concise very much you know i don't really even notice anything they do for me and so you don't really need it so i would uh advise against it because at the end of the day it's a little bit of money out of your pocket okay the other response I got was a little more, uh, a little more detailed. So um, basically, uh, he said, you know, it it really depends on what you want, uh, uh, whether or not it's it's worth you joining up or not. Um, so I said, basically, it's my understanding that they take a chunk of your ad revenue. So essentially, you're paying them to be a part of their network. So if I'm going to pay somebody uh, money to uh, be a part of their network, I would like, you know, something in return. I don't want to give mon money for nothing. So, um, if I'm going to, I said, you know, if I'm going to pay them, what I would like to see is, like, the, my uh, some channel growth or maybe some, you know, uh, more views or, or uh, more money coming in as a result of, like, ads or something. Uh, because you would think, you know, if they collect money for all the views you get it would be in their best interest for you to get more views so their primary goal should be to like help your channel grow right so that was my response i said if i'm going to give them money then i want them to you know help me you know grow the channel and uh he said you know they can't actually do that <laughs> they can't they can't do those things they can't get you more subscribers or viewers or money or any of that stuff they can just help you like optimize your channel for I don't know, algorithms or search results help you with thumbnails and things. And that they also function as kind of like um, channel insurance. Like if you're um, uh, having some trouble, if, you know, if your channel gets like hacked, for example, or strikes or something like that. If you're having problems with your channel, copyright and flags and other kinds of things like that, um, they can, you know, they have a direct line to YouTube so they can help you get all that stuff squared away. Um, but then, assuming that those aren't any problems you have, then, you you know, it's not anything you're going to need to make use of. And I, I don't really feel like I need anyone to help me make thumbnails or, uh, you know, uh, optimize things for algorithms and stuff. Um, so that wasn't uh, very much interest to me. And then he said that they could also maybe help you get, like, sponsorships and uh, things to that effect, which I've... I'm not really too interested in that either. I've actually already turned down like a whole bunch of sponsorships from um, from like indie game companies and um, stuff like Tokyo Treat and Boxu and stuff. They send out like boxes of Japanese snacks and drinks and things like that. It's like a mail order service, kind of like a loot crate. It's like I've been offered like sponsorship stuff from all these 
all these people and I've always said no because I would, wasn't interested or, you know, I don't think my audience would really be interested in, um, you know, paid content, like advertising content where it's like in, all of a sudden in the middle of one of my videos, I'm like, hey, here's a word from our sponsor. Like, I don't really think anybody would be too interested in that. So really, there wasn't anything there of interest to me. I don't really, the whole channel insurance thing doesn't seem like a big selling point to me. They can't really help you grow your channel or anything. And they can assist you with getting sponsorships and stuff, which I don't even want. Um, so that was like really valuable information. So with those two responses I got, I, you know, I went back to the representative and um, said, you know, thank you very much for the offer. I'm, you know, <clears throat> you know, flattered you considered me and all that. Uh, but I'm not interested in joining a network at this time. You know, I was very uh, cordial about it. I was, uh, I wasn't a jerk or anything. I just, you know, gave a very polite, uh, I'm not interested. And um, I got a response back um, saying, you know, okay, I understand you're not interested. Would you mind telling me why you're not interested? And uh, basically just said, I'm happy with my current experience on YouTube. I'm happy with the amount of views I get. I'm happy with the amount of subscribers I have. The money is fine. You know, I don't really want anything, um, anything else, you know, out of my YouTube uh, experience at this time. Like, uh, you know, other than, you know, I didn't say this to her, but other than something you can't offer me, which is actually growing the channel. Um... So yeah, just let her know that I'm happy with my current experience on YouTube. Don't really feel the need to be a part of a network. And uh, she said, okay, that's fine, very cool. She tried to keep me interested though by um, letting me know that they were had some stuff in the works with, uh, I think, Retroware, which I, I had not even heard that name in like years. I didn't even know Retroware was still a thing. Like the last I remembered, Retroware had like they were doing those I think video game years videos that was like five or six years ago and they had like game chasers and uh, I think uh, Pat and people like that but I don't think those people are affiliated with them anymore um, so that was kind of you know uh, to me she was like yeah and by the way Retroware we're working on some stuff with them and I was like what I, had, <laughs> I didn't even know that was still a thing Retroware um, but anyway, so that's the little story about uh, how, uh, you know, I got an offer from, from Screenwave, and um, I, I'm not, like, adverse to, like, MCNs in general or Screenwave. I mean, they serve a function. They're a business. They operate on YouTube, and some people partner with them. Some people, like me, opt not to, and, uh, you know, that's fine and all. Um, but, yeah, I just felt like uh, sharing that little tidbit of information with everyone because... Um, you know, it's, it's pertinent to the channel. I guess, you know, it's fine if other people know the kinds of offers for things that I'm getting. Um, and I did, you know, again, want to open up the floor to uh, public opinion, comments. What do what do you all think of, of multi-channel networks like ScreenWave and others? Even though I can't even think... Uh, I, I want to say I got offers from like half a dozen. And ScreenWave is the only one I remember because they were the only one I knew before they made me an offer um but anyway yeah uh, in the comments you can let me know what you think of like uh multi-channel networks if they're a positive thing on youtube or if they're a negative thing or or screen wave or, or whatever it is uh let me know what you think of it because again i did come across quite a few videos on youtube talking about how i mean you've probably seen some of them uh screen wave ruined uh cinemasker or uh uh, Screenwave ruins channels and uh, something or other. Um, I saw like a bunch to that effect. Like I thought I was gonna see videos like by like people at Screenwave, <laughs> like producing videos of talking about what they do or whatever, maybe like advertising their business. But no, pretty much everything I saw was just like really, really negative stuff. A lot of people apparently don't really care for Screenwave. Um, and I, again, like I said, I didn't know anything about them other than they represented a bunch of channels on YouTube, and that was about it. So I don't really know a lot about the people working there, or what goes on behind the scenes, but, um, uh, anyway, but yeah, talking to those, uh, couple of people, it was in insightful, you know, they didn't really have anything negative to say about their experience with ScreenWave, they just said, uh, you know, you probably don't need it. Um, which, you know, was fine with me, I appreciated their honesty. Uh, but, uh, yeah, again... 
uh, comments. Let me know. What do you think about all this stuff? MCNs, screen wave, all that thing. Positive, negative, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I got to get back to my Sapporo black label. Uh, because there's just there's that, that right amount of sweat on the can that just makes it look especially delicious. And it's saying, it's calling out to me. It's saying, drink me, drink me. Um, so anyway, that's it. Thanks for listening, everybody. And uh, thanks for doing all the, the cool things like subscribe, blah, 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 etc., etc. YouTube jargon, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.